Yeah, all the stars are kind of aligning. We're getting the support yeah. from Vets and Tech and the Vets and Tech partners. We've had a couple conversations with folks who are really interested in kind of being mentors and shepherding um, an effort like that along. So it's it's a really exciting time in Las Vegas, uh, a time to um, kind of rubber meets the road on stuff and say, okay, let's let's get something like an incubator or an accelerator um, going where we're putting out companies that are really ready for investment. Yep. So Absolutely. I'm excited about that. So speaking of that, speaking of uh, speaking of investment, whether it's in uh, veteran-owned startups or other startups, you've got a big thing coming up in a yeah. little less than a month. Um, yeah. Um, you've got we've got a vet cap event sponsored by Vets yeah. and Tech and DraftKings. Yeah. Right. And we have uh, as and that is one event in a larger thing you're pulling together for the community called Freedom Week. So tell us about that. Yeah, so, and it's fun because there, there's always a story, right? Freedom Week actually goes back to 2016 in Tulsa, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. um, and it's very similar in stories. So um, there was a guy coming from Bunker Labs who was coming to speak at one event at a Cultivate 918 thing there. And this is the first time I've ever heard of Bunker Labs, and they said the term veteran entrepreneurship. And I was like, I gotta know this guy. Well, I also kind of wanted to show off our community. And I, I was like, if he's coming for one event, what if I hosted like a couple of events during the week that all had to do with veteran entrepreneurship? So we did um, one of the co-working spaces, Devil Does an Art Gallery. So we took the paintings off the wall and released the Freedom Gallery by veteran entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, one Million Cups, which is another national program. You can always set your clock to if there's a One Million Cups in your community, it's Wednesday morning at 9 a.m., and there's always two presenters. I just asked if we can make those two presenters veteran mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, and they were happy to do it. Awesome. So I, I tried to get the support of the city, and it's funny because they all looked at me, and they're like, Dave, you always do this. Like, There's like no time. We can't help you. No time. It, we got 48 hours. They, what are you talking need about? 48 months. No offense, government, but you guys need too many months. Um, so I've, I've planned entire flight tests in 24 hours. I know. That's why we're veterans, right? But so it was interesting because they politely declined and said, Dave, we, we can't officially support your event, blah, blah, blah. It's funny because the mayor showed up at almost all of them. Now, that's a win. Um, well, he was the new mayor, and he's also the guy that's transformed a lot of Tulsa since then. So it was really powerful because I took that. We did make a video out of it, and we created that video to showcase it in case we ever did it again. It comes in handy now because it started with one event that we're doing at VetCap, right? This mm -hmm. is going to be at DraftKings. Uh, mark your calendars for July 11th at 5 p.m. Uh, so at DraftKings, we're going to have an insane panel discussion. This and, they, and they can sign up for that on Eventbrite, right? Yep. Yep. So um, follow me. Follow just just keep looking. Freedom Week. We'll put some links and stuff. I'm sure. Yeah, I'll try to. I'll try to get some links when we when we do the replay of this, and we uh, we'll try to get some links out there. But yep. find me on you know if you're watching this on on uh, YouTube, put yep. something in the comments. We'll get you the info. Yep. Or just um, if, you're me if you're watching this, this on works. LinkedIn, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, hit me up on LinkedIn. Um, if you're watching this, uh, you might be watching this on the Pursue Vegas yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. So, but that's coming up. Um, what else can yeah. we expect to see in Freedom Week? Yeah. So. So that that event is going to be a big one with panel discussion about how veterans could get funded. Uh, so we did create the series out of it. It happened to be um, over at Promise Startups, Nevada Partners. Uh, they didn't really have a, a curated thing because that is a holiday weekend. But again, holiday weekend and a little heat ain't going to mm -hmm. stop us from building community. Um, so I think uh, we're teaching a couple classes. Yeah, you're teaching a class on. Um, uh, am on, I? Did we confirm yeah, that with Elias? We, we did. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we did. Yeah. So you're teaching a class. I think negotiation. Negotiation we skills. Got Edgar yeah. Rodriguez talking about some networking. I'll be talking about some basic overall strategic planning. But the whole idea of that is it's just showcasing a few veterans. Mike Fox. Uh, big shout out to Mike Fox. He jumped in. He's going to be teaching some video and social media. Then um, Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, we're taking something that's becoming a recurring event. It's over at the Leatherneck Club. It's called Office Hours, and mm -hmm. it's just really a way to collaborate. Um, it's a good excuse for any veteran entrepreneurs that are out there that maybe you want to take like an early day on Tuesdays. Come over. It's Taco Tuesday, so eat some tacos and uh, just be around like-minded business people. Again, yep. it's not exclusive to veterans. Anyone can come to the restaurant, um, and anyone that wants to connect the dots. Um, with with some veteran service organizations is great. Um, and then later that night, this one I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. We have a new program coming to Las Vegas. It's called Warrior Rising. Now, um, it's very similar in ways to Bunker Labs. Um, there's some big differences, and if you want to learn what those are, we'll just say that they rhyme with money. Uh, they rhyme with money, so you want to come check that out. Um, Frank Manto, mm -hmm. who happens to be my, my roommate right now, 
Um, we live 302 paces away. And the away. owner of Mill Treats, correct? Yeah, we're 302 paces away from uh, Leatherneck Club, and he's the founder of Mill Treats. So, fun story. If you uh, know Marines, Marines are known as crayon eaters, right? Because we're uh, stupid. I don't, I don't get it. But we're also like cavemen, and we'll we'll kill anything. Uh, but he, so the joke is, is that Marines eat crayons. He made the world's first colorable chocolate crayon mm -hmm. that you can color with and eat. And eat, which is um, more important. And fun fact. They're made in Tulsa, Oklahoma at Glacier Chocolate. Uh, so that was just a super fun, fun callback. So he's going to be uh, talking about um, bringing Warrior Rising here. They're, they have a, several chapters. This is a phenomenal program that actually runs people through cohorts, but they actually get uh, qualified to get some serious dollars in their bank account yep. uh, as, as, a, uh, as a grant from the Academy. So really cool stuff. That's on Tuesday. Thursday, we've got the two events. Vet Cap is in the evening, and this is the real. This is one thing I can't. I can't wait for. We are launching. Uh, we're we're launching the Veteran Entrepreneurship Library. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to be named after two incredible veterans in the community. It's part of the historic West Side uh, project, and it's going to be over at the home base at Nevada Partners, and that's mm -hmm. going to double in time as a, a little bit of like a studio space for us. And we're going to be interviewing. Where so people can, the whole week is designed. For people to donate books for the library and then we're going to be um inviting people uh veterans from the community to come tell their story and a lot of these are going to get archived in the the library at unlp so this is a big big community project in a way that um, it gives a physical space that we get to dedicate to some some veterans in the community uh, and i'm just i'm so excited to see this happen um, and we're going to capture the whole week as well um, and and if if I could just wave a magic wand as I often do sitting in this seat talking to mm -hmm. you, um, I really believe. Oh, I forgot the number one thing that at, at one of those events on that Thursday, the governor is going to be signing a proclamation to declare Global Entrepreneurship Week for mm -hmm. the state of Nevada in November. Now I don't know if you know how proclamations work. That's not a normal thing. It's normally like at the event during the event. But I went to them and basically begged them to say. Last year was overshadowed by F1. Is there anything that we can do to get ahead of that? So mm -hmm. we've been working with the lieutenant governor's office. We've been working with the governor's office of economic development. They have put in the request, and it's been granted that the that we're going to get that proclamation signed. So this is a big way to raise awareness for Global Entrepreneurship Week. Mm -hmm. um, so really excited about that. But if we get to capture this, if I could just wave that magic wand, every community that Vets in Tech is in mm -hmm. will launch a Freedom Week in the years to come, in that week right after 4th of July, all to raise awareness for all the veteran service organizations, but also to 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 get the community ready for what global entrepreneurship will, will be in their communities. So I see this as like a, a scalable thing that everyone can look forward to and, and really make a dent. Fantastic. And we're going to be bringing you as much of that from these kind of live streams in uh, just like this with that Freedom Week and that Global Entrepreneurship Week stuff as it comes.